Welcome to the Anxiety Coaches Podcast, a relaxing and informative show where we explore anxiety, panic, and PTSD, sharing how you can overcome them for life. Aloha, welcome back to the Anxiety Coaches Podcast. I'm your host and coach, Gina Ryan, and I am so happy to be with you again today as together we can consider the many ways to bring your mind and body back to its natural peace and calm. In today's episode, I want to go over six tips to soothe and eliminate anxiety attacks. And what I'm talking about here as far as eliminating them is that as you soothe an anxiety or panic attack that you are in, if you use these tips and these ideas and practice them regularly, they will also help to eliminate future attacks because anything that can calm us down and get us into our parasympathetic nervous system again, or calm the sympathetic nervous system down will not only make us feel better in the moment, but it will also help us to be in a better state in our nervous system so that we don't automatically fall into stress, anxiety, and fear modes. So These are ways that you can soothe yourself now and help to eliminate anxiety attacks and panic attacks in the future. So what I have are six tips to soothe yourself and to eliminate. But I want you to first realize that yes, you are having an anxiety attack. It sounds easy, but it's not that simple because our natural reaction to the first signs of an anxiety or a panic attack is that of fear. So we have to keep awareness really close to us. And again, you're not going to get this perfect just because you listen to this episode, but you're going to remember You're maybe going to catch yourself in the middle of it all and say, oh, there I am. Okay, now what can I do? You already know how this is going to go. It's going to ruin the day, right? Once you find yourself in the middle of it, you say, oh, here we are. This is going to ruin the day. And if you're with other people, they might even think, oh, what is wrong with my friend. Like, why are they acting so uptight or stressed out all of a sudden? And you might have those feelings that you just want to run away and hide. That is the automatic reaction that we have. We don't want to be reacting so much as we want to be responding. And the more we practice this, the more we can respond. The reason that we end up in this endless cycle is because we already act like we know how it's going to go. It's like, oh no, here we go. And that just sets us up for defeat. That sends us down the wormhole for sure. You've heard me talk many times here on the show about the parasympathetic side of our nervous system. And if you are in the middle of a panic attack or in high anxiety, you are not engaging the parasympathetic side of your nervous system, which is labeled as the rest and digest side. No, you are locked into the sympathetic side of fight or flight. There is a part of your central nervous system that's called the amygdala. This is the part of the brain stem that creates our fight or flight response to stress. And it actually plays a very important role in our survival. So we don't want to hate on it or anything like that, but we want it to be working for us and not against us. Our amygdala remembers the emotion that we felt the last time something in our life happened, good or bad. It's actually tied to very close to memories. And it then compares it to a similar situation that's currently happening and decides how you should feel. Well, you can see how this might get us in trouble. Your ancient brain, the amygdala, is trained to be this way 
So we need to look at how to retrain it because we are not suffering the life or death situations that the amygdala is ready to respond to. An angry boss is not a tiger leaping on us. It may feel like that, but it's not. And we don't need the same response. We don't need our nervous system to be flared up, giving us the power to fight or run. So I want you to not be angry at the amygdala. I want you to retrain it. You want it to work for you, not against you. So don't deny the symptoms that come up. Come to terms with the fact that this is all happening and that there is nothing that you can do about it once the flood of the hormones have been released. So I want you to understand that so that you can ride it out versus add to the fear and keep the cycle going. Once you realize that you're having a panic attack or an anxiety attack, turn to these steps that we're going to talk about today and keep retraining your fight or flight response to work for you rather than against you. And before I get into these six steps, I want to tell you a little bit about today's sponsors. Today, we have Vegamore with us. And I want to tell you, Vegamore products are an essential part of my daily hair care routine now. Like I use the Grow Revitalizing Shampoo and the Conditioner, but I want to tell you also about these other things that they have so that you will jump over to that website and check everything out. They have Grow Biotin gummies for your hair. So those of you who are needing more biotin because your hair is suffering, these are really easy because they're little gummies and it's just easy to take. It doesn't feel like you're taking one more supplement, right? And you know, I've been talking about the revitalizing conditioner and the shampoo, which have done wonders for my hair. But I also want you to understand hair is hair. So if you are having trouble with your eyebrows, they have a grow serum for eyebrows and also for lashes because we have had problems in these areas before and Vegamore has the natural products to help you out of those situations. All of their products are 100% vegan and cruelty-free and never contain parabens or hormones. My hair is looking thicker and fuller, and I'm getting compliments too. So thanks to Vegamore. Try Vegamore risk-free for 90 days. Trust me, you're going to love them. Go to vegamore.com slash ACP and use code ACP to save 20% off on your first order. That's V-E-G-A-M-O-U-R dot com slash A-C-P. Code A-C-P to save 20% at vegamore.com slash A-C-P. And Naked Nutrition is with us. You have got to love the fact that we are being able to enjoy a shake, a protein shake that is actually good for us. It doesn't have any extra junk in it. We want to tell you about Naked Nutrition and their products because they are wonderful. They're premium ingredients. There are no artificial sweeteners, flavors, or colors. And if you want to use the Naked Shake, they have it already for you. They have it in four flavors, chocolate, vanilla, strawberry, banana, and peanut butter, blueberry, I'm going to tell you about my favorite one in no time. These are delicious and they mix so easily in water and they taste great. So if it's mixed with water, it's only up to 130 calories, depending on which one you have, and only up to five grams of sugar. So these are GMO-free, soy-free, vegan, certified, gluten-free, and no artificial sweeteners, flavors, or colors, which makes it totally right up my alley. But if you want just the protein, if you want just the naked whey or just the naked pea, they have that for you too. Those contain only one ingredient, either whey or pea protein. And 
These you would want to mix up yourself in your own shake, which I like to do sometimes too. I want to add my special fruits. We have so many fruits over here, you know, they're always fresh and ready to go. So try these out. Head on over to Naked Nutrition. You are going to love them. They are beautiful. Go to nakednutrition.com and use promo code ACP and you'll get 15% off on your first order at checkout. That's nakednutrition.com for 15% off your first order with promo code ACP. Let's talk about these six tips that I have for you. It's going to sound familiar to some of you who have been around for a long time because we do these practices over and over again. And the better we get at them, the less we dip into those anxiety, high stress, panic times. The first one is to actually face what is going on. Don't try to deny the feelings that are flaring, the senses that you are feeling in your body, that the hormones are raging, that the heart is pounding. You got to ride this out. So don't deny it. Don't pretend that something is different than it is. It's okay to just face it. The second tip is to accept it. So it's one thing to be aware of what's going on and be willing to face it, but to accept it is another thing. And these are part of Claire Weeks's tips, right? If you haven't read any of Claire Weeks' work, you will do well to check her work out and to read Hope and Help for Your Nerves is the one I would highly suggest. It's old school. It's been around forever. It's a classic, and it is well worth your time to read it. So we're back to accepting. Now that you've realized that the anxiety attack is happening, stop fighting it. It is the denial or the lack of acceptance of what is that causes us more and more tension and keeps us in the fear cycle. So if you got to say it is what it is, I know you've heard it a million times, but that's okay. That's a form of accepting. The third one is to breathe. Now that you're aware of the situation that you're in, it's time to start getting yourself out of it. In order to do so, you need to breathe. Oxygen is pivotal to our health. Breathing allows oxygen into your bloodstream. Exhaling longer and slower than inhaling will promote and stimulate the parasympathetic side of the nervous system. We're not talking here about how much oxygen we're getting in or how much carbon dioxide we are exhaling out. Right now, today, we are focusing on exhaling longer and slower than our inhale to promote and stimulate the parasympathetic side of the nervous system. This will encourage hormones to release sensations of comfort, and it will stop the flow of the fight or flight hormones. Those are two sides. They're like two pedals, a gas pedal and a brake pedal, and we can't be doing both at the same time. So if we can engage that parasympathetic side of our nervous system through our longer, slower exhale, we will be doing ourselves a huge favor and begin our journey out of this stressful time. The fourth one that I have is to be, simply be, and this is awareness. Following the rhythmic behavior of our breaths allows us to be in the moment. So just be with your breath. When we have anxiety attacks, we can get lost in our own heads and our thoughts and our fears. We forget where we are and what we're doing. Do you know this feeling? Like, I remember it. And when I get nervous now, and if I get really tense or upset about stuff, like I can feel the fact that I can't think as well as I usually can. So imagine if you are in a panic attack, your prefrontal cortex is not getting the blood flow that it needs to have you handle situations in your life and think clearly. If we're out with friends and family, we forget that we're out there to have a good time. If we're laying down, going to bed, we are there to rest, not to worry about tomorrow. Anxiety is dictating our lives in those moments. Check in with yourself. 
Think about what you're doing. Are you clenching your teeth? Is your fist in a tight ball? Are you fiddling with a piece of jewelry? These are anxious behaviors that are causing more tension in your body. Note them and let go of them. And you may have to do this over and over and over until you don't have to do it anymore. It's okay. Catch yourself. Eventually, you catch yourself sooner and sooner. And eventually, you really don't even fall into it because you have made a new connection. Many times, we dread things that are not even real. So bring yourself back to the present and check in with reality. Once we're able to become one with the moment, we can then realize that our fears are actually irrational and therefore unimportant. We do not have to run off with these things, but we need the awareness to do it. We need to be, simply be. I know it sounds simple. It is not easy. If you need to write it down on your phone somewhere and a note that you can come back to, to do these things, do it because we all need reminders. I remember because I say this over and over every day to you. (laughs) So let's all do it together. Okay. The fifth one I have is to reconnect Become involved again in where you are and what you're doing. Engage with your environment. Crown yourself in your body and your environment using your senses. Again, this can take us back to our five senses. What can you see? What can you hear? What can you smell, touch, and taste? Really use that to your own advantage to Get yourself grounded and reconnect with the present moment. And the sixth one I have, and this is really important, even though it's going to sound simple to you, I want you to smile and be kind to yourself as you're in this. Give yourself a little hand on the heart and smile and say, it's okay. It's okay. You're retraining a part of your brain that has a lifetime of bad memories that pertain to your anxiety. Changes to such a vicious cycle and long cycle that you have been in don't just happen overnight. It requires a lot of practice, patience, and time. Be willing to put in the practice and have patience with the amount of time that it will take. Be kind to yourself as you are journeying out of this. It's actually a part of how you get out is to have self-compassion and kindness to yourself. So try it now. Put your hand on your heart and say, it's okay. It's okay. Thanks for being here with me. You know, I love being able to share all of the things that work and all of the things that we can do. So keep coming back. That's it for today's episode. And before I read today's quote, I want to remind you that if you want more than what's offered here and more personal guidance, you might be ready for our group coaching membership program. It's a deeper dive into what you learn here on these episodes. Each month, you'll receive two anxiety clearing skill sheets sent in email. You'll also receive two live group coaching calls, which are recorded in case you can't attend. Those will help guide you through your challenges. And there's also a secret Facebook group for coach and community support every day, all month long. So if you're ready for more, go to anxietycoachespodcast.com slash group dash coaching and join today. I'd love to see you in the group. And now for today's quote. Every time you are tempted to react in the same old way, ask if you want to be a prisoner of the past or a pioneer of the future. And that's from Deepak Chopra. I'll be back in a few more days with another podcast. Until then, be well and aloha. Thanks so much for joining us for today's episode of the Anxiety Coaches Podcast. Find more information at the anxietycoachespodcast.com.